Hey, so, okay. Uh, had a request to show this uh, overbridge setup for propeller head reason. Uh, we're going to see how far we can take it before the VST crashes, but let's uh, go ahead and keep an eye on the rhythm as it boots up here. And then we're just going to go through the main process. Um, so, same as before, except now we're in Reason. Uh, under your instruments, you'll have a VST from Electron, Analog Rhythm, drop it on, hit play, and so far everything feels pretty good. Uh, so... What I've been finding is, is that after a few minutes, you'll start getting uh, drift. So the, uh, the plugin will actually lose sync with the, the rhythm. So uh, let's see if we can get it to do it. So you can kind of see what happens. It's actually behaving rather well, which is kind of disappointing because I was hoping to show you what happens. But anyway, let's ride this wave while we can. So right now, you'll notice you've got a audio coming out of the plugin and going into the mix channel for it. Um, and so if you record, there it goes. And... Yeah, starting to get some weirdness. So right away, as you can see, it's kind of buggy as is. Uh, but you also notice there wasn't any audio being recorded under the track. So to actually get audio um, out of the Overbridge plugins in Reason, you have to turn your plugin as a record source. So your mix channel is going to go to here. And then you can add an audio track and record from that source. So if you do stereo import, then you've got analog rhythm one. Now, if we record that, there you go. And I'm actually surprised that it worked for that long. Normally, it uh, will kind of shit the bed on you. Uh, so let's go ahead and delete that. And let's say we want to actually multi-track all of the different outputs. Uh, so if we expand our CV programmer, you'll see we have these optional audio outputs. And the problem you're already seeing is these are actually mono feeds on the rhythm and it's detecting them as left and right pairs. So we actually don't get to the symbol and the cowbell or the external inputs of the device. So we can't actually multi-track every track out of the rhythm properly because this is automatically trying to map all of these as stereo pairs and it's limiting us to 16 total tracks which should be possible on the rhythm but it's mapping it as a left and right for the bass drum when it should just be one track for the bass drum on the left and so the fact that it's just kind of hardware simulated with this layout means you can't actually get to all of the tracks in the rhythm so that's another big issue that uh, they need to address on propeller head side. It's not Electron's fault. This is just their, you know, propeller head's kind of dumb integration of all this VST shit. Uh, also, if you'll notice, my delay compensation is at like 1,500 samples. It's, it's kind of, it's larger than a lot of other things. You would see if we get rid of the plugin, it would drop back down to zero. But let's say at least we want to try and do this. So right-click, 
route to a new mix channel, right click, route to a new mix channel, new mix channel, new mix channel, etc. 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 So from here, now we can go and you need to set all of these as record sources. So how fun is that? And then it makes sense. You might want to rename this as bass drum, snare drum, shot, etc., etc., etc. And then now, so even better, out of all this, now you have to add an audio track for each one of these and then set the input to your bass drum track that you set up over here. So it's like super annoying and convoluted in reason. And then add on top of that, that the VST performance kind of sucks in reason as is just because of the way it works uh, internally which they're working on for an update. 10.3 of Reason is supposed to be addressing all of these issues. But uh, let's see if we can record some of this. So let's go to audio track one, arm track two, three, I think I have set up to record something. So let's see. All right, so we're getting some sound. So that's good. So if we mute all of these, actually, let's just solo these tracks we recorded and listen to that. Let's see. We can actually mute, oh God. So now it's passing audio through, even though it shouldn't be very frustrating. All right, so let's just select those three and so there you go. And here it's actually kind of a little off too. The latency compensation can't really keep up. Um, so yeah, all in all, Reason and Overbridge, I would say are not really a good pair because I mean, obviously look at how many tracks we've set up just to get the audio as available for being recorded and then all these extra tracks just to actually store the audio once it's been tracked in and i don't know maybe i'm not doing this correctly but as far as i know that's how you get audio out of a vst if you want to freeze it onto the uh onto the timeline to actually record audio and sample it from a source that's not an audio interface this is the way you do it. So that kind of sucks. I would say just kind of stick with Ableton for a while until 10.3 comes out and hopefully they'll address some of this. Maybe they'll add a couple of more outputs to it. Oh, that's another thing. So let's say we want to do some automation or, uh, you know, you know, record a performance. So you know, we want to now adjust the tune of the kick drum or something. If you go into here and look at your group of controls, you can see you've got all of these track one values, which there's so many because it has to list every parameter for every possible machine that could be on track one. Um, and obviously track one can't have like a symbol or a cowbell on it because it's one of the bass drum engines. So that's not getting filtered out properly. Um, and by the end of it, you get to group nine and you're barely on track two. So what about the other fucking 10 tracks? Like just, yeah, 
reason is not doing so great for this. So I don't know if part of that is the VST is not passing things along properly as far as like the available parameters or if it's just it's dynamic and reason is very static and it just reads every possible name, but they don't allow you. I mean, they allow you a lot of parameters. If you look at that, that should be enough, but it's just due to the nature of how this is set up, everything's kind of screwed. So it doesn't actually work. You can't, uh, you can't map parameters for control. If you want to say like, you want to automate something and you click on it, it uh, it doesn't show up, doesn't create an automation lane, just all in all doesn't work. So I don't recommend it, not yet anyway. I would say if you are a Reason user and you have an Electron box that you want to do Overbridge stuff with, it's probably just a good idea to pick up like a cheap version of Live you know, get like live standard or something that gives you enough tracks to pull all your audio in and use uh, rewire to get all your reason tracks kind of synced up and build your process that way. So wish that was a little less um, disappointing, but it kind of is what it is at this point. So there you go. You kind of saw it yourself. I'm actually surprised that we didn't lose connection on the rhythm because normally you let it run for about a minute and all of a sudden the little, nope, oh, there it just went. The tempo icon, you know, the little lock that shows up on the screen that says it's synced to an external source just went away. And now my rhythm is unresponsive. So I'm going to have to restart it. So cool. Yeah. Don't, don't do it. Don't use reason for overbridge. It's a bad idea. <laughs>